good things come to an end. A suitcase full of hope and promises. Yesterday, you know, I was having a nice date with Reuben until he started to tell me about his conversation with Julian. Sounds like Julian spilled the beans on my so-called sordid past. And it's like, okay, you know, it's like I'm bummed out. I look like, oh, something's wrong with Miss Debbie. It's like, it's not that. And I wish that he knows it's not that. About time. You know, I want to talk to you about some stuff. What happened? What the hell did you tell Reuben yesterday? What do you mean? You know, he acted like, oh, Miss Debbie's ready to fly her butt back down to Miami and move in. I, with I told him what you told me in the car. You're like, oh, I can live in Miami. Oh, this is my people. Oh, this is my art. Oh, yeah, this is where I need to be. I said that to you, not to him. I am not moving to Miami. Okay, that's all I you said, had to in say. In the long distance future, if me and Reuben worked out, that might be something we have to discuss. But gee whiz, you made me look like desperate. You nasty sometimes and made me look bad. Made yourself look bad. You know, I like Reuben, and I think he's a wonderful gentleman, but I'm in no hurry to move my butt to Miami. I'm not gonna be rushed into any kind of decisions right now. And you brought up the O word, and when, Osama. And when were you gonna tell him? I wanted to be the one to tell Reuben about Osama because it is such sensitive information. And, and you know, when you tell someone in the wrong way, he might get the wrong idea about me. And Lord have mercy, it's like, I am not a thirsty woman, you know that. I, I didn't say you were, Mom, you know. When are you gonna forgive me for going to Morocco? And you know, it's like, I know I screwed up, but can you forgive me and can you let me move on?